these two little goose geese right here are our friends. They've been following us today. <laughs> They've been walking around the bikes. I don't know if they're looking for food or just looking to attack. I'm guessing food. There's the bikes. Both from Canada. Canada's in Canadian soil. Awesome. Just awesome. How's it going folks? Moose here. I was going to do this on my phone. I don't have service anyways. And I also don't have battery power because this goddamn thing bike didn't charge it again. There's my Kaylee 7 right over there. So I got the GoPro on my Gorilla Pod, I guess. And uh, we're going to do it this way. Just saw some geese. Kind of cool. Came right up to me. Didn't peck me, so I'm kind of happy about that. Beautiful spot. We're in Canada right now. So, guessing that means over there's the United States. Right there. There's the bridge we came across on right there. Awesome ride. Border crossing was easy and simple. No problems there. Everything went really well. It's been an awesome trip so far. It's only Tuesday. And uh, we're in Canada, man. I've never ridden a bike into another country before. It's freaking sweet. Love it. This is the boardwalk we're on right now. Gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Take a look around and see everything. That should be America over here. We're on the Canadian side, like I said. Parked in this little hotel right here just to get a few things situated and uh, take some pictures. I got my phone charging on my bike because it didn't charge again on the uh, front handlebars. Although I do have it in airplane mode because right now in Canada it would cost me a fortune to use it. So yeah, it's been a good day so far. Can't wait to uh, get into Canada a little bit and look around. The bike's being kind enough to uh, Tell me how fast I'm going because I don't have kilometers on my bike. I don't know if there's a way to switch it over. I think there is. I remember being in a setting somewhere, but I'm not positive. I'm hoping baking is legal here in Canada. I don't believe it's legal. And uh, yeah, we're just out and about on the road and just having a good time. So it should be an awesome trip. You should be able to see a lot of cool things today. With any luck. I'm not really sure exactly what you call this. We're in Sault Ste. Marie, Canada side, but not really positive uh, what the area is called, the boardwalk. Got some kind of weird pavilion thing going on here. And we got this uh, little statue right here that's... William Henry Bill Orizietti. Orizietti. Yeah, that's what he said. He was a well-known citizen, musher, and legend in this area. Over the years, he entered many dog sled races, including the 1992 Alaskan Iditarod, not to win but to compete for himself and his dogs. He was born in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada, October 13, 1943. He met his untimely death in 1994, doing what he loved best. He went through thin ice in Little Bay, you know, in Escanaba, Michigan. Escanaba. Yeah. Attempting to save his nine beloved dogs, he managed to save two before he succumbed to his icy waters of Lake Michigan. Wow. Damn. That's sad. Basically what that means is don't go dog sledding. Especially with global warming. Yeah, global warming. So yeah, I don't think I've ever used this thing for filming on like this before. I like it. Cool. Keeps it out there. It, it, it looks, let me see. Can I, I can't see. Can I touch the screen? Yeah, you look great. It, it frames you very nicely. I always look good. <laughs> hey. So yeah, we're going to cut this off here and uh, just enjoy our day. I'll put little snippet videos together and try to post them later on the internet when we get back to the hotel. For right now, there'll be no cell service over here because I'm not paying Canadian charges to use my phone. So, there's that. So keep on the eye. We'll try to get more videos out as we go. Little snow snippets like this will probably be good. I can do it right on the GoPro. It's great. I will talk at you later. This is Moose. Keep us safe out there. Bye.